Hey guys, welcome back to SP Tales. So, um, as I day I was thinking to make some abstract animation and I started working on formula factor. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So first, we'll take this tube object inner radius 88 height uh, ra outer radius 100 is fine rotation segment 80 height 4 fillet 1 that's what now just hide this one for a second. Select this rectangle width 200 and height 12. Uh, we need rounding, of course, just to you know, radius is fine, plain x3. Okay, now. Select this rectangle, hold Alt and click on this icon. Get 0, 1 or uh, 2. Now go to caps, size 1. I think 1 is fine. Yeah. Now it's like both of them now go to move graph inside effect uh, uh yeah go to go to move graph select clone up. now select both of these extrude and tube object and drag and drop inside the clone like this now select this clone and we need to increase count so make it 30 and y make it 5 uh, or 7 that's okay so now we have clono object okay now the main part now select the clono and then click mogra inside effect of there is a hero formula now if you hit play button you will get something like this right now we don't want that of course so go to frame 1 select the formula inside formula select parameters uncheck position and check rotation 90 okay. now go to effect so if you hit play button now it's too fast we need to reduce the speed okay so for that see here is a formula so instead of 360 add 90 okay like this and hit play button see now it's doing quite nice and slow so that was the animation part now let's move to material but before that we just add one plane mm, where is the plane there it is just scale it scale up to the feel the full screen now, now. click double click uh, in this area so you will get the or if Go to create new material. Okay, now double click on this material. In background, we need nice pink color. So, it will be 0, then 50, and 100. Inside luminance, 0 is fine. And 
and a brightness. I mean, the low we don't want too luminous, so that is okay. Just oh sorry, one more thing. Inside reflectance, remove, add Batman. Inside the layer funnel, choose dielectric. Inside of inside of preset. Select P. Okay, we don't want any roughness, so make it zero. I'll just apply this material on the plane. Second material is for the this tube. Double click. Only check on uh, take on this transparency. That's it. See, you get this nice glassy reflective surface. This material. Select. And drag and drop it to tube. That's work. Now right click inside the render tag display. Make it fifty. Okay. Now we will create some nice gold color. Go to here and make it 23, 93, and there's 71. Now again, go to reflectance, remove it, add Batman inside layer panel, conductor, reset, gold. Even here, we don't want this roughness, so make it zero. Now select this material and drag and drop into this thing. Okay. Now we just need some light. So click on it and select area light. Rotate it. Hold shift so it's easy. Bring it up. Like light inside shadow, like area shadow. Okay, now we need HDRI. So here we'll add sky. Double click. Let's uncheck color and a reflectance, and check luminance. So click on here in, in three dots. I'll choose this one. Just click like no. And just we need some little blur. So, bit ten, bit ten. You don't want that sharp reflection, so we just blurred it out. You can increase later on also. Now just click and okay. Now I will hit render. Oh, but before that, go to setting inside the entializing geometry to best and then hit render. I hope you like this video tutorial and thank you so much, guys, for all your likes and comments. For more updates, please click on subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you.